Throughout history, people have been obsessed with searching for tangible evidence or evidences which substantiate the actual existence and exact location of the legendary city of Atlantis. Several movies such as Aquaman 2018, Journey 2 The Mysterious Island 2012, animated series Atlantis The Lost Empire 2001, and many others all agree that the remains of this city exist beneath our oceans and have therefore tried to recreate the magnificence and beauty of this supposedly once existing island. However, most researchers hold a contrary opinion, believing that Atlantis was simply a fictional creation of the Greek philosopher Plato, intended to convey his philosophical thoughts. The pressing questions are, did Atlantis ever exist? Where was the location of Atlantis? What records testify to the existence of such a city? How was life in Atlantis? How did it disappear? Would the world have remained the same if it still existed? But before that, how did the modern world come to know about Atlantis? Atlantis became known to the modern world in the late 19th century through the publication of a former United States congressman, Ignatius Donnelly. The ex-congressman in his book Atlantis, the Antediluvian World, written in 1882, retells the story of a long-lost city and empire which went by the name Atlantis, but which eventually sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Prior to this time, Atlantis was generally regarded as a fable invented by Plato in order to teach people of his day's vital philosophical and moral lessons. But Ignatius argued that Atlantis wasn't just a legend, but an actual historically existing empire which excelled in various fields such as metallurgy, agriculture, architecture, and language amongst others. This then begs the question, what was living in Atlantis like? The oldest known records of the existence of Atlantis is contained in the two dialogues of Plato written over 2,300 years ago, titled Timaeus and Critias. Both give account of the existence of a magnificent island which existed just outside the Pillar of Hercules, which refers to the Straits of Gibraltar. Atlantis was founded by the Greek god Poseidon, who made his half-god, half-human son, Atlas, the first king of the island. The city Atlantis and the Atlantic Ocean both derived their name from the name of this first king. Atlanteans had a formidable navy fleet due to their unparalleled technological advancement and soon grew to an empire said to be larger than Libya and Asia Minor combined as they soon conquered all neighboring islands in the Mediterranean, parts of Africa such as Egypt and Europe spanning as far as Etruscan Italy. They would have covered all of Greece as well, were it not for Athens, which spearheaded an alliance that repelled the attack against Greek city-states. As recorded by WorldHistory.org and National Geographic, Atlantis had an abundance of food, precious metals such as gold, silver, bronze, zinc, etc., such that the Temple of Poseidon, which was at the center of the city, was decorated with silver, the roof made of ivory, had statues and walls made of pure gold. They also had exotic animals such as elephants and as much as 10,000 fierce chariots. It was the supreme world superpower. Despite all of these, they met an abrupt end. Within just a day and night, Atlantis had been sunk beneath the ocean owing to several earthquakes and massive volcanic eruptions which wiped out the island. This was thought by Plato to have been a punishment from the gods upon Atlantis for the empire's insolence, pride, moral degradation, and insatiable appetite for acquiring other lands. As to when exactly this happened, Plato says that the sinking took place about 9,400 years before his time. If you add that to the time when Plato narrated the story about 360 BCE, that is over 2,300 years ago plus the 9,400 years originally cited by Plato as the period when the sinking took place. That means that Atlantis disappeared 11,700 years ago. However, some other sources claim that it sank approximately 9,000 BCE. 
Plato claimed that the story was originally of Grecian origin, but was forgotten in history until it was retold by Egyptian priests to Solon, a famous Greek statesman whom Plato said vouched for the truthfulness of the story. So, was there ever in existence a city named Atlantis? Several theories abound to answer this. While several historians and researchers believe that Atlantis may have indeed existed, some believe that the stories were inspired by similar real-life events that were not exactly the same with Plato's Atlantis. The third category of researchers belongs to those who consider Atlantis as mere fiction of Plato's invention. Research of the second category have therefore come up with theories explaining that Atlantis is a fiction inspired by other similar historical events. Which are the most popular of these stories? There are some who cite stories such as the Minoan civilization, which was composed of two principal Greek islands, Crete and Thera, now known as Santorini in the Aegean Sea, and which flourished some 2,500 to about 1,600 BCE. What might have made this civilization confusing with that of Atlantis is that the Egyptian records has it that about 1,500 BCE there was a devastating earthquake which shook the volcanic island of Thera to the extent that it caused several tsunamis and a volcanic eruption which spewed as much as 10 million tons of rock, gas, and ash into the atmosphere, thereby wiping out the Minoan cities. Another theory also states that the story of the sinking of Atlantis may have been fueled by the flooding of the Black Sea, which took place around 5600 BC. Civilizations which grew around the shores of the Black Sea at the time were deluged and destroyed when the originally fresh Blackwater Sea was flooded in probably less than a year with salty water after the Bosporus was reached by the Mediterranean Sea. The people who escaped this disaster may have spread the news which is now construed as Atlantis. Despite what theories some may have, there are some researchers and scientists who still hold the idea that a distinct city called Atlantis did exist. These are people who have pointed to several locations as the site where Atlantis was sunk. Majority tend to go with the traditional location of Plato, which says it can be found in the Atlantic Ocean as named after the city, just beyond the Pillars of Hercules or Strait of Gibraltar. Britannica.com even has an Egyptian-based map from Athanasius Kircher's book, Mundus Subterraneus, Subterranean World, written in 1664, testifying to the existence of Atlantis. Some others, such as Charles Berlitz in the 1970s, claimed it was located off the Bahamas and must have fallen victim to the Bermuda Triangle. Some others, such as Charles Hapgood, who presented Albert Einstein's work as the foreword to his book Earth's Shifting Crust, 1958, argued that Atlantis was Antarctica some 12,000 years ago when the continent was more temperate. Depending on who you ask, people have argued that Atlantis can be located in Malta, Sardinia, Azores, Bahamas, Crete, Sahara, Bimini, South America, Cyprus, Ireland, Russia, Ukraine, etc. Atlantis, as described by Plato, is indeed a fascinating and magnificent empire we would have loved to see. If it still existed today, it would have been like Black Panther's fictional Wakanda, which is technologically far advanced than its contemporaries in the modern world. Whether Atlantis was ever real or fictional, the centuries-long debate continues. And who knows? Just as Troy was once thought to be the invention of Homer in the Iliad until 1871, Atlantis may also, someday, be proven to have actually existed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment below.